Welcome back Python leaders and learners. <clears throat> we were looking at the first program and we had completed our first program, executed it using Python space the script name, your script or hello.py in my case. The script name in your case could be anything. Our next step that is subject of this video is we are going to upload that particular script to github we are going to upload that particular script to github into this area that is going to be our aim how are we going to do that will be the subject of this video let us go back to our terminal in our terminal we remember that we had the file name called hello.py now we are going to use the same git clone command that I had explained in one of the videos, one of the earlier videos to clone my repository. In this case, you are going to clone your repository. Understand the repository that you are going to clone is the practice repository that is yours, not the Python D learners underscore data. Do not clone this. This is not going to help you because this is going to be my repo. You cannot control my repo. You cannot write any data into my repo. But in your repo, you can, the Python practice repo that is there in your Git account, you can do anything that you want. Go there, go to the code and click on HTTPS and copy this link. Copy the link that comes under HTTPS like this and then come back to the terminal. Come back to the terminal like this and then in the terminal, type git clone and paste the repo link and press enter once you press enter the repo git clone the repo has cloned into your local directory if you list the directory you will find that that is python practice in the same place where hello.py is there we are going to move this hello.py into python practice inside the python practice move mv is the move command once you move it, it will be inside the Python practice, inside the Python practice folder. If I click on, uh, if I change directory into Python practice and do a list directory, you will see there is hello.py. Now, what I am going to do is, I am going to start adding the file hello.py, adding the file hello.py into the GitHub Git repo. How I do that? I use git. Okay, before I add, I need to check the status. The command for that is git status. So click on git, uh, type git status and press enter. If you press enter, you will see hello.py is still untracked. There are three stages. There is untracked stage for a file. That is the first stage in git. Second is staged. Is the second step of uh, the file and finally the third is commit so these are the three stages that the file goes through so git status we see hello.py is untracked now we do git add hello.py if we do this there will be no output however if you do again git status you will see that currently the file has got staged if it is green the file is staged you can unstage it by using git restore we are not going to get into that those commands right now we will continue by continue to the next step of commit so next step is git commit once i do git commit in if you are using windows a notepad file will open if you are using linux a command the word processor like nano will open inside nano type this is my node this is my first commit and then save it you can say in in my case i will be uh, saving it using control o and then exit it and once you exit the command will already have committed and you will get this kind of a reply. If you again do git status, 
now you will see there is no red or green file but you will see your branches ahead of origin main by one commit now comes the important command it is called git push origin main if you click on git push origin main this is where the things will start deviating you have to first of all provide your inside builder provide your github user uh, username inside builder is my github username and you have to provide yours and then it will ask for the password if you provide your github password it will not work you have to create a personal access token and then provide that personal access token here now we will see uh, we will keep this terminal as it is and we will go to internet explorer inside internet explorer we will go to your github repo go to the settings of your repo if you go to settings of your repo you will see all the details of your public profile forget all those things at this moment come to developer settings here if you come to the developer settings here click on that here you will see personal access tokens click on personal access tokens you will see fine grained tokens click on that once you click on fine grained tokens you need to say generate token click on generate token you can generate how many tokens you want once you generate token give give a name temp you don't need to give any description you come here down and select all repositories after that this is the important location the repository permissions you need to provide appropriately only major permission that you need to provide is for the contents so you need the permission to read and write you need to permission to read write contents commits branches downloads releases all these things will uh, approval will be given to this personal access token so you need to provide that access once you give that access rest of the things at this moment you don't need to worry now you can proceed with generate token once you click on generate token it will generate a token for you this token copy this file copy uh, copy this uh, token and keep it in a separate place you will use it pretty often right now so take this uh, use this button and click on copy and it will copy your token now let us go back to our terminal in our terminal since you already copied it you have to just say paste here just paste it and press enter if you press enter the git push origin will work now how to know that the file is already copied now i i say to you that hello.py the file that we committed has been copied this file i am talking about this file how can i prove it very simple i go back again to internet internet explorer to my github repo i go back to my github repo and i click on the repo that i am practicing and inside the repo you see there is a new file called hello.py just if you want go to the start of this uh, video you will see that there was no any hello.py in this uh, in this repo but now it is there even you can see that this particular commit was done four minutes ago so all these things as i was explaining to you will get updated here that is how you commit your program that you are doing on your local machine to git repo this is one of the most important activity that all the software developers and engineers follow regularly for their work because once they do any of the changes in a code so i come here i i can actually pull this report to my local laptop my local operating system and do any changes to this and then i can write i can again push the update back to this repo that is how software developers and software engineers update the code day in and day out once the code is updated then they come there is something called as pull request that they need to raise this request has is get it is it gets checked by the supervisors and the quality testers that is how the development happens 
in order to make the development automated and use test driven development method there is something called as actions this is where you will do the ci cd pipeline all these things we will learn as we go forward in this course however at this moment you need to only concentrate on this tab called code do not venture into any of these things at this moment even you don't need to go to settings we will go to that later in the course we will explain how to use github pages by using going to the settings i will explain those things uh, later in, in detail but as of now uh, i am just showing what github repo is capable of it's not just going to store your file it is going to do more than storing your file that is why i am pushing you again and again that upload your code to github repo and keep it there in this video we have come from the the hello.py file getting committed to the hello.py one minute let me move to the terminal the hello.py got committed to the github repo we copied it from outside and we committed to do to the github repo we cloned the github repo your your github repo i explained what is uh, the difference between your github repo and my github repo and uh, we used git status we used git add we used git commit and then we used the most important command git push origin main and then we used your own personal access token we saw how to create personal access tokens in your github deposit in your github account all this were covered in this video now in next video you are going to be really excited because till now it would have been very bumpy right setting up the environment getting to uh, use git because you were not expecting to use git you came here to learn programming but now i am telling you to learn git but now that you have got the base ready this is a place where you can start moving really fast in learning python because whatever you are going to code next you can simply save it to a file put it into github repo by committing it and then push it immediately to the github uh, server what happens is in case in case your laptop uh, is uh, changed in case your laptop is used by your brother and you don't have access to it you have a different uh, laptop then you can immediately pull the repo pull this repo and you can work anywhere you want so your studies will never stop that is one of the biggest benefit of using this github repo and uh, github server after that in case in your work if the laptop changes because uh, the laptop has become old and they are going to give you a new laptop what is going to happen to your code base all you need to do is again use git clone and put this command there and all your files will get downloaded in less than 5 to 10 minutes depending on your internet speed if you are having 2 mbps internet connection and if you have a repo of 1 gb it will not take more than 3 to 4 minutes to get downloaded how powerful can that be and think about it there is no any kind of interruption in your studies it's like you can binge learn anything that you want so that is the power of uh, this particular video i would really love that if you can uh, practice this if you get any doubts do con connect with me and comment uh, in the in this video so that i can help you out i am i am really excited because i learned the entire process uh, i learned programming uh, very easily because i had this opportunity in the beginning where i realized that i need to save all my folders all my files in a separate uh, folder and push it to github repo in that way i can share it with others in the future so that is one of the greatest motivation i uh, with this i would like to end this video and stay tuned for the next video where we will start delving into variables and uh, strings integers and and rest of the you know uh, python uh, python related activities we will start pushing forward so stay tuned guys and have a nice time till now